The Rassauraphel is a French twin engine canal tailed wing mountain fighter designed and built by Dassault Aviation. The Rafael is able to operate from both an aircraft carrier and a shore base. The fully versatile Rafael is able to carry out own combat aviation missions, air superiority and air defense, close air support, in-depth strikes, reconnaissance, anti-ship strikes, and nuclear deterrence. The Rafael is referred to as an Omniroar aircraft by the Sur. The Rafael entered service with the French Navy in 2004 and with the French Air Force in 2006. With more than 30,000 fly hours in operations, it has proven its worth in combat in Afghanistan, Libya, Mali, Iraq, and Syria. The Rafael was ordered by Egypt. Qatar and India. The Rafael program was initiated in the late 1970s by the East Carter Standing Administration as a replacement for the Super Intendant Maras F-1, Maras 3 and Maras 5 aircraft ready in service and the Maras 2000 Mountain Fighters which were in the advanced design and production phase. The Rafael, with its Omniron capabilities, is the right answer to the capability approach selected by an increasing number of governments. It fully complies with the requirement to carry out the widest range of roles with the smallest number of aircraft. The Rafael was developed as a modern jet fighter with a very high level of agility. Dazor chose to combine a delta wing with active close copper canard to maximize maneuverability. The aircraft is capable of withstanding from 3.6G to 9G. The Rafael is an aerodynamic and stable aircraft and uses digital fly-by-wire flight controls to artificially enforce and maintain stability. The aircraft's canals also act to reduce the minimum landing speed to 213 km per hour, while in flight, air speeds as slow as 28 km per hour have been observed during training missions. According to simulations by Dazor, the Rafael has sufficient low speed performance to operate from starbar configured aircraft carriers and can take off using ski jump with no modifications. The naval modifications of the Rafael M increase its weight by 500 kg compared to other variants. The Rafael M retains about 95% commonality with Air Force variants including, although unusual for carrier-based aircraft, being unable to fold its multi-spar wings to reduce storage space. The size constraints were offset by the introduction of Charles de Gaulle, France's first nuclear power carrier, which was considerably larger than previous carriers, Falcon Clemenceau. The cockpit was hands-drawn throttle and stick control. The cockpit is equipped with a head-stop wide-angle holographic display from Thales Avionic, which provides aircraft control data, mission data, and firing cues. A collimated multi-image head-level display presents tactical situation and sensor data, while two touch-screen lateral displays show the aircraft system parameters and mission data. The pilot also has a helmet-mounted side and display. A CCD camera and onboard recorder records the image of the heads-up display throughout the mission. The Rafael is powered by two M882 engines from Snegma, each providing a thrust of 75 kN. The aircraft is equipped for buddy-buddy refueling with a flight refueling horse rear and drug pack. The first M88 engine was delivered in 1996. 
It is a twin shaft bypass turbofan engine, principally suitable for low altitude penetration and high altitude interception missions. The Dazzler Rafale is relatively small, light airplane. Its combat radius is also impressive, 1852 km. The second best in the market, trailing only the F 15C D. The Rafale also has an excellent rate of climb, 304 meters per second. The one thing that somewhat lets the Rafale down, other than its 55,000 feet ceiling, is its speed of Mark 1.8, compared to Mark 2 or more for most other fighters. However, its principal competitor, the F-35, is worse at just Mark 1.61 and 43,000 feet. In that regime of air-to-air -air warfare, neither speed nor ceiling would be a significant issue. The predominant factors are agility, pilot visibility, sensors, gun caliber, and the quality and quantity of within visual range infrared guided missiles. Rafael can carry payloads of more than 9 ton on 14 hard boys for the Air Force version, with 13 for the naval version. The range of weapons includes Mica, Magic, Sidewinder, AS RAM and AM RAM air to air missiles, Apache, AS 30L, Alarm, Harm, Maverick, and PGM 100 air to ground missiles and Exocet, Penguin 3, and Harpoon anti-ship missiles. For a strategic mission, the Rafale can deliver the MBTA ASMP standoff nuclear missile. The Rafale has a twin gun port and an extra 30mm DEFA 791B cannon, which can fire at 2,500 rounds a minute. The Rafale is equipped with laser designation ports for laser guidance of air to ground missiles. With its outstanding load carrying capability and its advanced mission system, the Rafale can carry out both air to ground strikes as well as air to air attacks and interceptions during the same sortie. It is capable of performing several actions at the same time such as firing air-to-air -air missiles during a very low altitude penetration phase, a clear demonstration of the true Omniroar capability and outstanding survivability of the Rafale. The Rafale has already proven itself in three different wars. In Afghanistan, it performed numerous ground strikes against the Taliban, sometimes with GBU-12 PEF-2 bombs used against Taliban caves. In Libya, it successfully evaded Qadifi's woefully obsolete 1960 vintage Soviet air defense systems and led the fight against his regime. Most recently, in Mali, the Rafale flew long distances to perform strikes against Islamic insurgents. Thus, the Rafale is a veteran of three wars, despite entering service only a little more than a decade ago a stark distinction to all of its competitors, except the Super Hornet, none of which have seen any combat whatsoever, even against obsolete Soviet air defense systems or insurgents unable to contest control of the air. The Dazzler Rafale is not an aircraft for France alone, while French armed forces are planning to purchase a total of 294 Rafales. Other nations have also purchased the Manteron fighter. Egypt has ordered 24 Rafales and received their first delivery in 2015. Qatar has also ordered 24, as the Qatari military has the need to replace their older Mirage fighters and Alpha Jet Line aircraft. This number is expected to increase to 72 over time. India is the newest customer. Delivery of 36 Rafales started on July 27, 2020, with first 5 Rafales delivered to Indian Air Force from France. 
A second batch of three Rafael jets arrived at Jamnagar Air Base in Gujarat on November 4, 2020, after flying non-stop from France. The Indian Air Force is to receive 16 fighters by April, while current experts are promising that Zoro faces heavy competition with the Eurofighter Typhoon and other Mantaron aircraft. Current French spending and investment into the Rafale program offsets other defense budgetary needs, putting France at risk if Dazor is not able to leverage larger and more frequent export contracts. My video of Dazor Rafale answer. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.